Lublin is the biggest city in the eastern part of Poland, just on the edge of the European Union border with Ukraine and Belarus. On 1st of July 1569, there was a signing of Lublin Union, which first time in Europe history, union two different countries without war in one state. It was Kingdom of Poland and Grand Duchy of Lithuania, making a commonwealth of both nations. It was signed in Lublin Castle, just in the Holy Trinity Chapel, and uh, there was uh, during the meeting of uh, Polish and Lithuanian parliaments. This chapel is uh, one of the most important, beautiful and precious monuments of a medieval art, not only in Poland, but in the whole Europe. It's very important for history of all Europe, because in this Gothic architecture, typical for the Western art, you can find uh, Byzantine Ruthenian paintings, typical for the East. It's a place where two great cultural traditions of the Latin West and the Byzantine East meet and mingle. is a, is an example of mutual religious tolerance and coexistence to different cultures and denominations because it was uh, always Roman Catholic Church and the frescoes are typical for Orthodox temple. This combination is very original and unique. The most important fact was exactly the same that European Union having today. It was the openness for different religions, different nations, and there was a strong commitment with the idea that the peaceful cooperation is much more better than war and conflicts. The city of Lublin was nominated, but with the special attention of three places in our city. It is the Lublin Castle and especially Holy Trinity Chapel when the union was signed. It's a Dominican church and monastery when was the mass just after the signing of union. And it is monument which is located on the Lithuanian square just in the city center, which is the memory of the Union of Lublin. I think that uh, history of Lublin is an example of, of tolerance uh, between uh, people of different nationalities and uh, denominations. And nowadays it's very important because many people, many Catholics, and representatives of Orthodox Church, Islam, uh, Judaism, were arrived in Lublin and they lived here without wars. Mm -hmm.